Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss estimation and rounding of unit, unit number 6 in grade 6 mathematics. This unit consists with two major parts, that is estimation part and rounding off part. Today we are going to discuss about estimation part. First of all, let's see what is the meaning of estimation because it is new to you. Finding a close value for the number of items there are in a certain collection of items without counting the items but using a suitable method instead is defined as estimation. Finding a close value for the number of items there are in a certain collection of items without counting one by one of the items but using a suitable method instead is defined as estimation. Can you state the correct number of newspapers, the correct number of bananas and the correct number of marbles in the given figure? The best way to answer it is estimation. The estimation. We can do the estimation by finding a close value to the total number of items by considering the number of items there are in a portion of the collection. In this method, the portion that is considered is taken as a unit and the total number of items is estimated by considering the number of items there are in the unit. Let's discuss an example. The figure shows two stacks of copies of the certain newspaper. There are 10 newspapers in the stack B. Estimate the number of newspapers there are in stack A. It is clear by making a comparison of the height of two stacks using the divided line in the figure that the height of stack A is roughly four times the height of stack B. So the number of newspapers in stack B is equal to 10 that is already given in the question. So the number of newspapers in stack A is approximately the 4 times of 10. So the answer is 40. Let's take another example. Figure P shows a glass container filled with marbles that were for sale in a certain shop. Figure Q shows the same container after 16 marbles were sold. Estimate the total number of marbles they were in the container initially. You can see the space was initially occupied by the marbles is about 7 times the space that has been emptied by the sale of the marbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, Therefore, the number of marbles they are initially in the container P is approximately 16 times 7. 112 is the answer. Got it? Okay, let's do some exercises. The figure shows a wall which is being, uh, being built. Estimate the total number of bricks that are required for the whole wall and write it down. First of all, we have to find the number of bricks in one row. By counting it, you can find it is 11. Then you have to find the total number of rows. By counting the number of rows in this wall, you can find it as 25. So, then you can easily find the number of bricks required for the whole wall by multiplying the number of bricks in one row by the number of rows. So 11 times 25 answer is 275. The figure illustrates 
how papadums have been spread out and left to dry. Estimate the number of papadums there are and write it down. So the best way to do this, first of all, you have to separate this into some units. You can easily see there is one unit there. So first of all, you have to find the number of papadums in a unit. You can count it and find it should be 14. Then you have to find the total number of units in the given figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4 times 6, it is 24. Then you can find the total number of papadums very easily by multiplying 14 by 24. So the answer should be 336. If you can understand this, you can do it in one sentence. The figure illustrates how 11 books have been placed in a compartment of a book rack. Estimate the number of similar books that are required to fill up the book rack completely and write it down. So first of all, you have to find how many compartments are there in this rack. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 times 5, totally 25 compartments are there. So, we know in one compartment, they have been placed. 11 books so the total number of books we can easily find by multiplying 11 from 25 so the answer is 275 finally in a certain school there are three parallel classes in each grade from grade 6 to grade level named 6a 6b 6c 7a 7b 7c etc. Each class has approximately the same number of students. The number of students in class 6a is 36. Estimate the total number of students there are in the school in grade 6 to 11 and write it down. So first of all you have to find the total number of classes from grade 6 to 11. They have mentioned there are three parallel classes in each grade. So from grade 6 to 11, we have to find how many classes are there. Grade 6, grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11. So 6 classes are there. So 3 times 6, 18. Then you have to find the number of students in a class. They have already given that as 36. So the total number of students from grade 6 to 11 you can easily find by multiplying 36 by 18. So the answer is 648. So that is the estimation part. Thank you.